Just how horrific was the abuse that Laura Cummings suffered? Well, longtime grizzled law enforcement veterans say it was the worst they had ever seen. They say that Eva Cummings and her son, Luke Wright, abused Laura physically and sexually for years. And that it all culminated on a day in January inside the family home in North Collins that ended with Laura being suffocated by her mother. Over the summer, the sheriff's department and the DA told us they had overwhelming evidence against both Eva Cummings and Luke Wright. Captain Ron Kenyon led the sheriff's department investigation into Laura's murder. Did the mother and brother make admissions to you about what they had done or what had happened? Yes, they both did. Detailed admissions? Detailed admissions, yes. And I assume they were given their rights and oh, absolutely. beforehand? Yeah, absolutely. Should the case go to trial, do you think uh, those admissions will hold up in court? Absolutely. No doubt about no, it. No, in my mind, no doubt. Eva Cummings' attorney declined an on-camera interview with us, but said that Cummings, by pleading guilty, wanted to put the matter behind her. Cummings will be sentenced to at least 25 years to life in prison, meaning she'll be 76 years old before she's even eligible for parole. Meanwhile, Luke Wright was in court today for a hearing to determine whether he's competent to stand trial for his sister's murder. If a judge decides that he is, Wright's attorney says it's likely he'll use an insanity defense at the trial. Earlier this year, D.A. Frank Sedita said he would not enter into any plea deals with either Luke Wright or his mother. Uh, the defendants can plead guilty to what they're charged with. I anticipate that this matter uh, will either go to trial or they'll plead to the most serious charges as charged. 